Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we've got half the Robot Masters down. And I think I'm starting to get a hang in this game. Maybe. We're gonna have uh, some fun. Because Bounce Man, he looks like the type of guy that knows how to have a good time. Alright, is this... Oh, yes. We are already going to have a great time in this stage. I can tell. Uh, right off the bat, Bounce Man reminds me of Clown Man. Only bigger and rounder. The stage music also reminds me a bit of Clown Man. Oh, <laughs> this is fun! One thing I'm kind of disliking about this game, or... Yeah, maybe dislike is too strong of a word. But, uh, okay, I... Those are some solid balloons. Okay, I had to test. Okay, they do hurt. And we can't destroy them. I should use weapons. Get the drop on them. We're on one of them because I hit... Oh, I hit a thing. Oh, I see what's happening here. We're gonna have more fun. Uh, but anyways, one thing that I'm not the biggest fan of is... All these levels seem to be pretty linear. There's not, like, a lot of alternate paths or anything. It's just... Everything is just kind of... Here's a screen, or here's a small section and deal with it. I mean, I guess all the Mega Man games are kind of like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just need to fill commentary space. But I, I, there's something about this game that's just not feeling quite right. I mentioned some of the slowness with some of the uh, weapons and the knockback. But there's, there's a bit more to it. Don't get me wrong, I'm still greatly enjoying this game. I'm about to have some major issues here. I... Yeah, like launching face first into... Okay, that's just rude. But yeah, something is not... Okay, we gotta be able to clear those. I can't even push... Charge shot! Okay, charge shot deals with those. Hey, there's a one-up down there. I'd be inclined to uh, put in the effort to go get it, but I stocked up fully on lives, so I don't care. These bouncy guys are fun. Lots of fun, and kind of annoying to hit. Fortunately, Blazing Torch is a strong weapon. When it connects, it, with, with the room layout and the space that uh, Blazing Torch does, I'm surprised I managed to miss twice there. Well, let's use our... Tundra weapon for screen clearing goodness. And just not deal with most of that stuff. I do enjoy screen clearing weapons. I did mention last time that uh, Tundra Storm and Blazing Torch are probably going to be my two favorite weapons in the game. Um, along with Acid Barrier and then Block Drop. So yeah, I kind of have all my favorite weapons of the game. This is coming from post-commentary experience where I have all of the weapons. Don't get me wrong, there's still some fun uses with uh, a couple of the other weapons, uh, but one of them is going to be my candidate for the worst weapon, and uh, we'll go over that when we get it. We're not going to get it this time, though. Well, this looks like fun. I must say, for the bounce theme, I do like the mechanics of this stage. The, uh... I'm not sure what to make of the hands. I mean, it's... it's different. Now that stuff... It's not even important to me. Alright, mini-boss... No! Nightmare frogs! Kill it quickly! Oh, he just frog-hopped me! A frog splash! Uh-oh, going for another frog splash. All right, speed gear, we need to kill this thing. What in the world? 
kill that guy. He's the main villain here. Oh my gosh, it's an inflatable nightmare frog. That does not make things any better. Kill him quickly. Uh, I overloaded my speed gear. Oh good, that's over. Nightmare frogs. But nightmare frogs in this game. That's what's wrong with Mega Man 11. Well, that was the A. Hey. Come back here and try that again. We'll do it like this. Again, I like barrier weapons for uh, pop-up enemies. And there's an example of uh, our barrier doing the uh, reflecting acid shots when it gets hit. Yeah. Oh, I see that. Yeah, that hand would send you backwards. Hey, no, no, no. I need uh, I need something to kill that guy quickly. I don't think we're gonna do it. Oh, we're definitely not gonna do it now. Wasn't ready for that. Wasn't expecting a uh, fake Eddie. That's that enemy's official name to uh, pop out like that. Um. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do I feel like dealing with this? Here I'm just trying to cheese this room by uh, just doing a quick hop over to that one. It, it looks like it's something that should be done. I'd like a weapon that can destroy that thing. Maybe we have one, maybe we don't, I don't know. Okay, we'll do it legitimately. Yeah, just go, go, go. I'm surprised that stunniness didn't... Okay, this is a problem room. I do want to save the Tundra because uh, past gameplay me's thinking is that uh, you can't bounce around all over the place if you're frozen. Makes sense, right? Also, given the uh, firing pattern of Tundra, it seems like it would be... Uh, great for uh, position-wise to fight against what Bounce Man will most likely do, which is bounce all over the room. Hey, an E-Tank. I want it. Well, all the enemies are dead. And they don't respawn, so that's a good thing. I just gotta figure out how to get that E-Tank, so I don't need to hang on to the charge shot anymore. Okay, we landed on this platform, now we go up here. No, 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 bounce. It, it. Just enjoy the bouncing sound. I like that sound effect. Okay, that is my candidate for a favorite sound effect of the game. I promise you I'm not doing this on purpose. I, I just want the E-Tank. We're not getting... We're not getting... Yay, we got it that time. Couldn't tell you what I did to get that. And now we get to go up and do this again. This is still a fun, enjoyable stage. Although I do feel that the stages in this game seem to go on a bit longer than they should, even when you know what you're doing. I do want the health. And we have... Please don't be another Nightmare Frog. I said please! Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to... Oh, this is terrible. I'm being licked by the Nightmare Frog. Okay, we need to kill this guy quickly. Um... We need to kill him quicker. Blazing Torch, because when I want to kill things quickly, I think of Blazing Torch. Like I said, one of my two favorite weapons of the game. Oh, well, this looks like fun. Actually, this looks, uh... It looks dangerous, but... It's designed so that it's actually just easy, and it's just a waiting game. There's really not much of a challenge here. If you didn't feel like waiting, you could use Rush Jet. 
I feel like saving Rush Jet for when I actually need to pick up some sort of bonus that I want to pick up, because I... We're gonna have to go this way, aren't we? Hi there! And... Uh, hmm. And as usual with other bouncy physics uh, from other Mega Man games, such as Springs from Mega Man uh, 6 or 7 for that matter, uh, if you are... I missed it. really should be putting on the acid barrier here. It would be uh, great, as long as you use the corrosive uh, power with it. Alright, up here, come on, get another one up. Yeah, it's not gonna pop up another one. It's, I think those things are, oh, yeah, there it is. I was about to say, I think it's on a uh, motion detection. You gotta get close to it, but no, that's not the case. Why is there a spot you can slide over here? So that guy can hit you. Okay, that's not the real reason. The real reason is we have a spot for Rush Jet and a W tank. I like the hiding on it. There was this slight subtle hint that you could get get it. That took a lot of rush energy for not going super far. Oh, how can I take out one balloon but not all of them? Come on. I am kind of a fan of the stage music. It does fit the uh, bouncy, fun, goodness theme. We gotta go higher. We always have to go higher, but I'm gonna do this anyways because I like bouncing on a trampoline. That was one of my favorite things to do as a kid. Uh, there's some accidental dodging and accidental running face first into a cannon. And that was me just getting shot by stuff off screen that I can't really do much about. I could use the Tundra weapon, that would be smart. I do like that there are uses for the weapons that we're getting uh, thus far. Again, that's a very nice feeling. And if you miss your bounce, that's okay. You know, I might change my mind, that super bounce effect, sound effect, might be my favorite sound effect. This is just a fun stage overall. It, it's exactly what I expected. It's exactly what I wanted at this point in the game. And I have no idea what I'm doing for the weak disorder. Okay, yeah, we gotta go from above, but I wanted to take out some of these balloons so they don't get in our way when we do the super bounce. Yeah, I've got to fight. i got to use special weapons more. This will fix everything. Have I mentioned I like barrier weapons? No, well, not far enough. <laughs> that is a silly sound effect. Okay, you there. I don't care to deal with you properly. I like Blazing Torch. I also like uh, health pickups. Hey, we're at the uh, boss. I didn't even die in this stage. I didn't even die in this stage and it took me 13 minutes. Let's, get Let's not. Okay, you dodged my Blazing Torch. Uh, that did, well, a couple points of damage. It did more than one damage, that's the thing. That seemed to do a decent amount of damage. Or did it? I don't know. Let's try... Block drop? I mean, that also... The trajectory of block drop also seems like it should do good. I almost feel like that's the weapon. Let's try, uh, the acid. Okay, so either everything is his weakness or nothing is his weakness. Either way... Okay, if you're good at fighting against Armored Armadillo, you'll probably be good at dodging this guy. Me? Sometimes. When I'm distracting myself with trying to figure out weakness weapons, uh, my dodging capabilities go... No, I do not want to bounce with you. I want to stop your bouncing. I bet you can't bounce like this! 
I bet I can't either. Oh, come on, I just hit him with the super drop. Well, even if it's not his weakness, it's able to hit him fairly easily. No, oh, okay, that that is not working. Uh, Tundra. Because Ice... Again, the trajectory when he's right above our head, we can use that. And, of course, Bounce Man has the speed gear, so he can bounce around all super happy like a... Uh, hyped up six-year-old on Mountain Dew. It's exactly what he does. Oh boy, a new Honestly, I'm just dying to him because I want to hear more of his Bounce phrases in his voice. Okay, that's not really it. I mean, that seems to do decent damage, but I don't know if that's enough to be considered a weakness. Okay. Uh, time for some post-commentary knowledge here. None of these weapons are his actual weakness. I'm just using weapons that I feel are easier to hit him with than a straightforward shot for a guy that's bouncing all over the room. Oh there. Um, I'm out of Blazing Torch. I'm also almost out of health. Let's uh, do something about that. Yeah, I got him close enough. I'm going to use an E-Tank. I've had enough of this guy. I've had enough of this technique as well. Oh, I missed him. I only need one shot. Come on. There we go. Playtime is over. Okay, Dana Brooke. No one's going to know who that is. Well, someone might. But yeah, that's her catchphrase. Anyways, uh, for that we get... This better be called the Bouncy Ball. Bounce Ball, you know what, close enough. It really should be called the Bouncy Ball. Okay, this looks like we're just going to have fun with this. I take it back. That popping sound is my candidate for the favorite sound effect in the game. Actually, that one is my favorite sound effect. It is so cute and fun. It's and so obviously, Power Gear lets us have all sorts of bouncy fun goodness. Okay, Mega, what'll it be? Are you sure? Yep, we're gonna stock up on one ups. I only lost a few, and that was all to, uh, what's his face? I'm gonna restore that E tank. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time.